So we had a little mishap this morning, folks. Um, the trailer came undone. It's a matter of time it was going to happen again. <clears throat> trailer come undone and it tore these wires off the battery. Pulled the ends off. I'm going to try to rectify that situation. Now, what I'm going to do, I have this black one here. I'm going to cut this black one about, I don't want it too long. About here, maybe, I think. What I'm going to do is I bought this unit here. So I'm going to wire this up to run the winch. So if something ever happens and ever it comes off again, it just pulls it apart. That's what I'm up to. I don't want these wires hanging over very far either because when I go to skid logs out, I don't want it dragging down on the ground. red one okay so this one here so I want so the positive side I want it to be the female on here just in case that touches something I don't want it shorting out so so that's why I'm going to do this this side if I use the other side this would have been the opposite the positive would have been the male and I don't want that now I still have all of these two uh, a friend of ours has been following our channel for a while, uh, Jeffrey Beyer. He sent us these a long time ago, and we're still, we're still using them. Yeah. That was a little large, I think. I have some in the case, and I have some in a bag here, just in case I want to walk somewhere up to, you know, and work with them. I have them. Hmm. smaller one but I don't well that's fine then that's fine so slide this up here a ways just enough where it don't get melted I'm gonna take this I basically just take this here and I just wiggle this into here shove it in like that twist it that's how I do it make sure this is going to slide over there when I'm done yep that'll slide over there nicely This is the solder. It's got the acid core as well this year. So it'll melt that right in there. I should be wearing safety glasses, I know that. Let that cool down before I go to slide this. So if I go to slide this shrink tube down right now, it can get caught on that and then it'll shrink on me and that's no good. 
Now open it. There. Solid. I'll clean this one here. Now the positive. The positive is the blue one, I believe. Nope, it's the yellow one. The yellow one is the positive one. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to take this red one here, I'm going to cut it fairly short as well. I want to make sure it will reach the I'm guessing about here. Red one here. I'll slide down here. straight but open up a little bit here. Fan them out like a deck of cards a bit here. And then again I'm not saying this is how you do this. That's how I do it. Not too hot, I don't want to melt the wires though.
now. Well, the battery one here is just about done. I just gotta drill that hole larger. I had to do this the last time I did this. The holes were too small in this. I don't have any worries about coming off what she's locked on there. near pull the bike with that. This somehow I gotta go slower than that last one. that wing nut somewhere, did I know it? Right here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I could have used the spare. I have a spare right here. In case I shouldn't need it. So here we go. Now this here, I'm not too concerned about that being latched on like that. I don't have to cover that up. I mean, nothing's gonna affect it. So now the black one here, I think is probably, you know what, I might be able to get away with that one. You know that? That's good. So that would be this one right here. I think once it swings, it'll be just enough, I think. Now I had that nut and washers right here. this guy in the back here. I'll do that like that. And this. Hmm. I don't want this on there still. No need for that. I had a 10 millimeter wrench. I know I did. 
It's right here. It fell off the bike. Another black uh, shrink wrap. Heat shrink tube. I guess you'd call that, eh? Now this here. We'll slide it in here, like say about so. I'm gonna need Heather to hold these if she don't mind. I don't Set mind. my camera on the tripod. Okay. Pull her like that. Okay. On either side. those pliers right here. Need you help me with the other one? Okay. It's done now. Now the power will go on there too, so I gotta cut this. I gotta strip this back here.
right here. Okay. Don't pull them apart. Wiggler too much. Yeah. I'm just not sure if you can see it on the camera. My arm's in the way. around your arms or like that, okay? Mm -hmm. No, it's twisting on us somehow. One of them's twisting and one of them's not. You just have to stay put. There. Move your hand. Not which hand. Which one?
gelaufen. Let's see how that works. So this will just get plugged into here. And boom. The trailer comes undone. What do you think, Heather? That's awesome. Better? Oh yeah. Yep. Easy. Like it. Now I'm gonna try to tie wrap these together here somehow. Just like this. You know what, I'm gonna leave them loose like that because if I don't, I have a pretty good idea what's gonna happen if I don't. One. Go. Leave a little bit here. There. It's garbage. Yeah, we just got back with these two logs, the last two we needed, and that worked great. So now, I just disconnect that when I want to go off into the bush and skid a log out. I just take the trailer off of the bike using that jack. Of course, I skid the logs out and then I load them. That's why it's in the way of the jack right now. But uh, overnight, I just connect those just in case something goes wrong with that little guy and it starts sucking the cable in until it busts something but uh, hey we're getting this all set up yeah that didn't get put on the bike properly this morning when we had those two logs in there on the trailer and I pulled ahead I made it about six inches the trailer dropped and ripped these wires apart no more worries now it's all set up good I'm liking that now yeah that's good and see the power wire here. This side I use the female end so so if it touches anything it's not going to short out. This end here the power is the male end but it doesn't go anywhere there's no power in that box but there is power in that battery so in case this cable ends up touching here somehow and the power touched here boom 
it's not going to cause a short. It's a lot better now. Plus, if I ever build a, a, a greater unit for behind one of my tractors, then I will just uh, use that. Or I can build a greater unit for behind the ATV with an electric lift up and down. I can use the battery there and I will just get another set of controls like that to operate another winch to lift it up and down. But not right now, folks. We just want to get this building done. So there, like I say, there's two, two nice ones there for floor joist. And there is two more in here. What a beautiful day it was here today. I think it was up to about 22 degrees Celsius, maybe. 21, 22, and it was nice. Yeah, we got two more there. And then, uh, yeah, they go over here. We only need four more. I mean, once these four are milled, that's all. That's all. We don't need any more heavy floor joist. Then, like I say, a strip of rim board around the outside, on the sides there. Just, just, uh, it's gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Well, actually, uh, three and a half on either side, roughly. So two eights and a four. And then we sheet in our floor up there and then we build a four foot high wall all the way around. Somebody asked why the little walkway out here. Uh, it's really so we can work on the wall and the roof up here. Because we gotta build a four foot high wall all the way along here. And plus it'll be uh, a spot where I can put stuff if I if I decide to use it at a garage or if I want to put some antiques up there, I'll have a four foot walkway out with a log railing all the way around here that we can put stuff up there. So uh, anyways, that's, that's how it's going so far. Really appreciate you folks following along so far. We really love the positive comments. I'm really enjoying the way this looks and I'm enjoying doing this. It is quite a chore, but we love it. I mean, it wouldn't be so, it wouldn't take so long if we could just go buy our lumber, but when you gotta go select your trees, cut them down, limb them, cut them to length, skid them out, load them on the bike, bring them home, mill them, put them back on the trailer, bring them in here, back the bike up on something, and then lift them up there. That's a lot more of a process than just heading down to your local big box store and buying some two by six, or two by eights, two by tens. You would not get away with just two by six for this span at 16 foot, six inch wide but these are strong. They are not going nowhere. And that's what I wanted. So anyways, that's it for this evening, folks. I really hope you enjoyed the video. We shall talk to you tomorrow. Please nail that thumbs up if you don't mind and leave me a little comment, a pleasant comment. Makes our day go good if we read some pleasant comments. Not all the time I get to respond to them because we are, uh, hey, we're working more on this now because the days are getting cooler and we can actually be out here and work. Heather and I actually prefer fall and winter to work. That's our time. It's just too bloody hot in the summers. Anyways, try to talk to you tomorrow, folks. Bye-bye, all.